Good morning and welcome to another vlog video here on the Down Cellar Studio channel. My name is Jen and I'm your host and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're new, thanks for checking this out. Today should be a really fun day. It is the Knit for Food Knit-a-thon day that runs from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. tonight. It is hosted by Lauren Elkin. It's a charity event that raises some money for some great um, food um, insecurity charities here in the United States, and I'm so excited about it. I've raised over $500, which I'm really proud of, and so thankful to my friends and family and any of you who have supported me. Thank you very much, and I think it's just going to be a really fun day, but Knitting for a lot of the day also means sitting for a lot of the day. So I'm going to start off this morning with a quick yoga video and then I'm going to head outside for a walk. So I hope that you'll join me for today's adventures. When I get back from my walk, I need to figure out what my plan is going to be for the day. Am I going to work on a whole bunch of different things? Am I going to start some new things? Am I going to try to finish some stuff? Who knows what the day is going to bring, but thanks for joining me for the ride. Dan worked on this project yesterday. This was a stump that we're not gonna remove, so he covered it in rocks. And we forgot we had this lighthouse kind of lawn ornament in the basement, and so he put it on there. I think it came out great. He also installed some more security cameras and a whole big system, but that's just part of it here with a little sign for folks reminding them that there are cameras here since we do live so deep in the woods. And then let me see if I can show you. He made this beautiful sign. He routered it out and then painted it. I came on crate, actually, I haven't seen it until now. Well, it's a bit cold and damp this morning, but I am gonna head out. The trail is right behind me there. Just get in a few steps and move around a little bit. And when I woke up this morning, my left hip was really tight and really sore. And so it's gonna feel good to just get it moving again. So let's go. All right, kids, check this out. I'm so ready for this knit along. Look at this incredible t-shirt that my best friend got me, right? So perfect. Uh, she and I are both huge Gilmore Girls fans. I still never would have thought to look to see if there was a t-shirt for something like this. And I would have had a perfectly great day without it, but also this is pretty fun. Yeah. Well, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I'm gonna start prepping some veggies and some stuff for salads for today and for the rest of the week. I think I'm not gonna roast stuff until tonight, so I'm just gonna chop things up, put them in this bowl with some avocado oil and put them in the fridge. And then tonight I can just throw them in to roast and it won't take away too much precious knitting time. So there's a little bit of my behind the scenes strategies to eat the things I like, eat well, and also not waste too much time.
Great. It's about noon on Sunday and we're on the official lunch break for the knit-a-thon. And I thought I would show you a little bit about what I've been working on so far. And I'm really like, oh, here we go. I thought it fell behind the couch. The only thing I've finished so far are these two swatches, which are for a class that I'm taking next weekend with Vogue Virtual Knitting Live. And so I needed those two done. I have a few more swatches left to do, so I'll do that next. Dan is installing a new backlight. So if you're hearing drilling and extraneous noise, that's why. Um, one of my other goals is to finish the heels on two of the socks that I'm working on. Do you think I can find those here? No, I think one is over on the kitchen table. One is here. I, I'm knitting these DK weight socks for Dan. And so I have the first one done. The second one is nearly to the heel. So I'm hoping to get that finished this weekend. And then in addition to those, I've also finished the top of the sweater that I'm working on. This is the free wheeler sweater. It's a pullover. And this top part, the top here is where my neck will go. And then the, the garter stitch comes all the way out and over my arms so I've basically got neck sort of yoke and sleeves and now I need to follow the instructions I think I need to kitchener some stuff here and then I think I can pick up and work in the round so having some quiet time maybe during this lunch break maybe that's what I'll be doing since I won't necessarily be watching anything but this has been a really fun project and it'll be nice when I can actually sort of try it on or show you all in a in a better way this is actually using um, holiday yarns and then also some Cece's wool. And actually we just heard from Cece during one of the sessions this morning, which was really cool. We got to see some of their fin sheep and that was an excellent, uh, an excellent presentation. And then we also heard from, oh, I'm going to forget the name of it. Um, World Central Kitchen, I keep flipping the words in my brain, World Central Kitchen, and the amazing work that they do going all over the world when there's um, humanitarian crisis or um, natural disasters and things like that and bringing food to people who need it, culturally appropriate food, and then what they've done through the pandemic in working with local restaurants to get those people working, bring funds to those businesses, and then also serve underserved people and people with food insecurity. So it's been a great blend of just talking with knitters and hearing um, about these charities that we're knitting for, and it's just been a great day so far. So, all right, um, back to the knitting, more later. I'm switching it up for a little while during one of the breaks and I've got YouTube on and I'm watching the Knit State of Pod Knit State of Mind podcast, which I really enjoy, and I'm working on turning the heel on these socks. I thought I'd switch it up and do a little bit of spinning while I still have the living room to myself. Dan's been working outside most of the day, but he'll probably be coming in soon. It's a little after three o'clock now. We're on kind of a break from the Knit for Food live streaming stuff. So I'm watching some podcasts and just hanging out for a little bit and enjoying the day. 
All right, quick check-in. It's about 4.15 and I am almost done with this uh, two ounces. So I'm gonna try to spin and chat with you at the same time. We will see how that goes. Just grease this wheel, but I think it still might be a little thirsty. Anyways, I feel like I'm getting a lot accomplished today. I finished kitchenering the sleeves on my freewheeler sweater, so that's very exciting. And I did two rounds to join it in the round. So I am officially sort of working on the body of the sweater. And I started the heel on a pair of socks that I'm knitting for my grandmother. And I'm almost done with this. So not bad, I got a little bit of a late start this morning so that I could do a little bit of food prep. At some point this afternoon, I'll need to throw those veggies into the oven to roast up. But um, I ate breakfast late and lunch late, so I'm not quite ready for dinner yet anyways. And I figure I'm just trying to finish this up while Dan's finishing his work outside. And then when he comes in later, he'll probably wanna watch one of the NASCAR races. So I will acquiesce the living room and either set up down cellar, or maybe in the bedroom, I haven't decided yet. It's a little chilly down cellar this time of year, but I could also just throw on a wool sweater, have plenty of those, <laughs> and get to um, get to making down cellar. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. There are more sessions for the Knit for Food Knit Along that start at 4.30, so I'm gonna check back in soon. Talk to you later. Hey, it's after 5.30, it's starting to get dark in here. I'm gonna have to turn on some light soon, but um, just watched another um, presentation from Meals on Wheels. It was really cool to hear more about what they do. I knew about that program, but not in that much detail. And then we heard from a farmer who has Rambolet sheep in New York. So that was really neat to hear about sort of a year on a, a sheep farm. And during that, I got the heel on this sock turned, which I'm very excited about. So that was one of my goals for today. And then one of my other goals is to get the pair of another heel done on this one. So this is up next. I probably have a round or two to do before it matches the length of this leg, and then I'll do a heel. Time to put those veggies that I prepped into roasts so that when I get hungry, they'll be ready. Decided I'd get outside for a little bit, move around. I'm gonna just take a walk to the end of the driveway and get in a few steps and stretch a little bit, listen to a podcast for a few. Then I'll get back inside and get back to my sock. Um, Dan is still out here um, working on all different projects. I'm surprised he hasn't come in yet, but it's it's getting cold. So <laughs> I think we'll both be inside soon, but it feels good to get up. As you might've seen from my drive this morning, we don't have many signs of spring around here just yet, but usually what comes first here are these skunk cabbage, which I think are beautiful, but apparently smell pretty bad but they're far enough off the driveway that we can't smell them. Taking stock of Dan's handiwork this weekend, he put up these lights. I think they look awesome. And now we're trying to figure out what kind of bulbs we want. We wanted one with a traditional light bulb shape. And this one is round, but I think it still looks pretty cool. Well, I just took a break to do the dishes. There was a huge mountain of dishes and I ate dinner. These are the leftovers of the veggies that I roasted up today. We have some summer squash and stuff in the fridge too, but didn't have enough time or energy for that today. But kitchen is finally back into some sort of shape except for the roasting pans, but feeling good about that. And now I can get back to knitting, right? That's how this works.
Well, folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, at least in terms of me checking in and chatting with you. I'm hanging out down cellar because Dan's upstairs now and watching some TV and winding down himself. It's a little after nine o'clock. I, at this point, I've raised over $800 for the Knit for Food, thanks to many of you and other wonderful people in my life. So I'm really happy with how that's gone. And I think overall, the total is over $260,000, which is so exciting and so crazy. So I turned the heel on my sock. So two heels today, two swatches, one finished bobbin worth of yarn. I seamed up the sleeves on my sweater and now I'm just working round and round. I'm actually putting in a second needle so that I can try this on and see how it's fitting. So you might see me um, trying this on in a little bit, but I just wanted to pop in and say goodnight and thank you again for watching. If you are enjoying these vlog videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up so that other people can find it if they're looking for crafty content. I will catch up with you on the Downseller Studio Audio Podcast over on Instagram as Boston Jen one or you can find me on Ravelry as Boston Jen. So come over, say hello, let me know that you watched the video, and I will talk to you again really soon. Good night.